little bit. Uh, big thank you guys for, for being here today. You know, on a Monday, I want to thank the fans. They were loud, the ones that came. Appreciate that very much. Um, you know, I like the way we started the game, obviously. I think we were locked in and we were ready to play. And that's a credit to these two guys, Gene, the three leaders, um, and the great job you know, that they did, you know, making sure the game plan was followed. So I'm real pleased that's our kind of defense. I know, know we have a chance to be a really, really good defensive team, and we played a really good team's going to win a lot of games. It's a dangerous team we played, and, uh, you know, we did a really good job of, uh, of doing what we needed to do tonight. You, you said you wanted to see a better defensive team now. Has it had a safe record? A few points allowed in the half. Uh, what did you like in particular about the way you guys defended? Well, I mean, I was just proud of them. Like, we, we were aggressive, and, you know, we got in stances, and, um, their leading score, he had 28 against uh, Boston University, many, and we held him to zero. So Issa and, and team defense, well, a shout out to Issa and Ron, who kind of guarded him at times, and other people did a real good job being locked in. I thought we had good team defense, though, shot blockers, guys in gaps, getting steals. Um, you know, I thought we really did a good job of being very aggressive, you know, down that end against a team, a very dangerous basketball team picked to win the MAC. So uh, very, you know, very. Uh, very happy with our defense in this game. Was that a major point of emphasis after you know the first two games? Yeah, it was. It was a major, major point. Now. <laughs> I think these two could ask, answer that a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's our identity. That was our identity all last year, and um, we've been emphasizing it all off season before the season started. So, it's something that we're going to continue to get better at. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we want to keep him to a 40 and 30, so 40% from the field and 30% behind the arc. And during the first half, we, I think we got him like around 8% from the field, so that's a great job. And now we're just trying to do it the next games. Yeah. You, you assisted, the team assisted 20 of 24 buckets. What do you think of that? I mean, tremendous. I mean, we have to share the game, and these guys did a real good job. I thought guys passed up good looks for better looks. I thought we got, you know, the ball into the into the uh, post when we wanted to. And, you know, I thought guys took really good shots. So, um, you know, I liked our shot selection. And again, it's a different kind of game. We have only one day to really prepare for a team that's long and plays all zone and, and pressures too. So a little bit different. I like the way that these guys responded on short, you know, short prep time. Yeah, I mean, I like this team. I like, the, you know, our leadership. And, you know, I think when we play with a little edge like that, I think, you know, we're going to continue to grow. I mean, we're the youngest team in the league. Um, but we have some good veterans. And when these guys, you know, follow suit with the game plans, you know, this team has a chance to be unique. And we got a lot of, you know, young guys, too, figuring it out and giving us great minutes. You know, Montez and Ron Harper and, you know, Caleb and Miles, you know, those guys have been Peter Kiss for the first time, you know, getting minutes. So we got a lot of a lot of new guys kind of figuring it out. Steve, what can you do to get Montez going downhill a little bit? It seems like he's throwing hard, but old school. You want to get him to start coming back soon? Yeah, I don't, you know. I like his defense today. So, you know, he'll score plenty of points. He's going to have a nice career here, you know. But, uh, you know, we shared the game today, and that's what I'm really, you know, always worried about. We shared the game, and we played lockdown defense. And we'll score plenty of points as we did again tonight. No, I feel pretty good, you know, about our rotation. Hopefully we stay healthy. And tonight we played a couple bigs together because that team was really big. So they played two fives, too, at times. So we were able to do that. And I kind of like that look, too, at times. So, you know, we've still got to, you know, figure it out. And, and guys got to be able to accept their roles. Every game is different. We played all guards the other day, St. John's. And then these guys had a ton of bigs. So one day to turn around, you know, it's nice to have those kind of options, you know, on the bench. Comfortable with uh, Gio playing 34 minutes? Uh, 40 minutes. Yeah, I want him to play 40. So yeah, I'm real comfortable with Gio. I'm comfortable with Shaq. I'm comfortable, you know, with all, with all our guys. I think they want to play as many minutes. Unless he tells me he wants to come out. One time I took him out for a few seconds. He's like, no. And so, you know, um, you know, got to stay out of foul trouble. It's a big part of that too. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a, as soon as we lost the game, we all, as a team, we just texted each other. Now we got to bounce back. You know, that game's behind us. And um, I think that, that last game really helped us grow up as a team. And um, today, I think we showed it a little bit. Grant, what do you tell the guys after a game like that? 
the, the, the last game? Yeah. Uh, they have to just keep sticking to the game plan. That's what we did. That's what we didn't do last time. Coaches uh, were this emphasis on like not playing street ball last game, and uh, and then we made it happen. So this this time uh, we just focus on playing hard defense, and we kept to it. And then we we get out with the win. So it's a good it's a good thing. Also a good day too for us. Paul Mulcahy's letter of intent came in, and so he's officially yes, so. in the family. So we're very That's happy, like you know, to have Paul joining us too. And it's just another nice, uh, nice player, great passer, you know, to add, and a New Jersey guy. So real thrill. Good day for Rutgers today. Good day for Rutgers basketball. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate it.